Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we look at building our first Android application inside the Visual Studio 2022 preview. But before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So let's get to it then. To be able to get started, please make sure you open the Visual Studio installer. So if you have actually installed the Visual Studio 2022, you should have it showing here so if you have it we click on the modify so here we check on the mobile mobile development with .NET box here we check here and then you can also check this box if you want to build mobile application using the c++ as well right so once we are done with this bit here then we click on the individual components so here on the individual components, we scroll down. You can, we can type whatever we're looking for, but we're just going to scroll down. So under the emulators, we have to make sure that we have these two boxes checked. And then we scroll down we got to make sure if we're actually going to build with C++, we have to make sure that we have this box checked as well. We have to also make sure we check this box, the Android SDK setup for API level 30, right? If we have all of this bit sorted out, then we can click install while downloaded. So this might take a while. So once you're actually done with that bit then you close it so we come back to the installer then we click on the launch so we actually open the the preview 2022 so here we're actually going to click on the we're going to continue without code so once we've, we actually get this uh, visual studio open then we click on the tools so under the android we click on the Android SDK manager. So as you can see here, we've got a downloads. I'm just going to pause it. So here, now we can actually select what, what Android API level that we want to install on our system. So as you can see here now, I've actually got Android 11, 10, and 9, 9, and 7.1 installed on my system, right? So once you check on some of these boxes that you want to install, then we click on the tools. So here we can uh, expand this. I think it's extra here. Yeah? So you scroll down and make sure that you install this as well if you're using x86. So Intel x86 emulator accelerator, that's um, HAXM installer. So you got to make sure that you check on this box as well. So once you're done with that bit here, then you, you click on the apply changes, right? So once the, the changes have taken effect, then you can click, I mean, you can close this. Then you come back to the tools again, still under the Android, you click on the device manager android device manager then you click on yes so here as you can see now we've got um the android device manager loading here now so as you can see yeah, i've got a couple of emulators opened but once you actually select the api level 30 we can, we can select on the add new so here we, we're actually adding a new emulator so we can give it a name so you can have like um the base, you can select whatever base device that you want. Yeah, so here, so there are, there are lots of Android based devices that you could use. So we're not going to look too much into that, right? And then here, you can select whatever processor you want to use. In this, in our case, we want to select the x86, right? And then here, the OS that you want to use. So as you can see here now, We've got a level, I mean, level, I mean, Android 11, API level 30, and we've got most of the levels that we actually going to need, right? So you can select whatever level that you want. 
So here, as you can see, you can select the um, Google API and then you can check this box for um, Google Play Store to, to be enabled inside the emulator, right? So once you've got all these bits sorted out, then you click on the create so that <clears throat> the, I mean, the emulator will be created. But I've actually got it created, so there's no need for that, right? So as you can see here now, I've got this emulator created. Yeah, this is API, I mean this one, this is API 30 Android 11, right? So this is what we're actually going to use. So I'm just going to click on the start to, to get the emulator started. So as you can see here now, we've got the emulator started now. So we're actually good to go. So what we do next is, we create our first Android application and run it on the emulator. So we can do so by clicking on the file and then um, start window, create a new project. So here we can actually select um, the platform here as Android so that we can get that we can get the Android started. So here we select the Android app under the Xamarin. This is a project template for creating Android phone and tablet apps with um, Xamarin, right? So we, we click on the next and then here we can configure our app details. Yeah, we're not going to look too much into that, right? Not for this video. So we're just going to leave it as it is, right? So we click on the create. So here we could actually select a couple of templates that I mean to get started with it. So we can select a single view Android application. We can select a navigation drawer application, a tapped application, or just a blank Android application, right? So you can select whatever that you want to do, you want to use. So we just in this for this video, we're going to select this um, the single view application, right? Then we click on OK. So as you can see here now, we've got an application started now. So the the emulator should appear in a, in a bit. So as you can see here now, we've got Android emulator appeared and it's actually appeared as online, right? So if we look at it here, so as you can see, so there's a Pixel 2 Android, Android 11 API 30. So what we do is, we can we can even explore the files so we're not going to explore the files further but what we do is actually run it to see for the first time so we can run it by clicking on the f5 or, or by pressing on the f5 or by clicking on this play button here so as you can see here now we've got our app um, being built at the moment so I can I'm just going to pause the video so as you can see here now we've, we've got the build being continuous so so I'm just going to put the emulator on it on the screen now so it should it should pop up in a moment so as you can see the device is being found so as you can see here now we've got the app being run at the moment so this should take a, a moment. So as you can see here now, we've actually got the app running. Yeah. So it's very simple to get yourself started. So in the next video, we'll look at taking this from this video further. We will actually start from a blank Android application and we try and build something. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do. Because, you know, I've got lots of videos coming up. So... I hope you have a lovely morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you are. Peace.